The illustrious princess who ascended to become the sole queen regent and final sovereign of the Hawaiian kingdom, Queen Liliuokalani possessed a magnificent array of jewelry, some of which now graces her former residence, the Aolani Palace in Honolulu. But first, let us delve into the story of Hawaii's Queen Liliuokalani. The daughter of Analea Kiohokaloli and Caesar Kapakai, she was nurtured by Abner Paki and Laura Konia, baptized as a Christian and educated at the royal school alongside other children of nobility vying for the throne. In 1862, she wed American John Owen Dominus, later the governor of Oahu, and though the couple had several adoptive children, they bore none biologically. Following her brother's accession to the Hawaiian throne, King Kalakaua, she was proclaimed princess and became the heir to the throne after the passing of her younger brother in 1877. Princess Liliuokalani represented Hawaii at Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee in 1887 and she was a skilled composer and songwriter, crafting some of Hawaii's most beloved songs. Queen Liliuokalani ascended to the throne in 1891 and endeavored to draft a new constitution, which led to her overthrow in 1893 amidst a pro-American coup, ultimately culminating in the annexation of Hawaii by the United States. Subsequently, the Queen, who had been under house arrest since 1893 until her forced abdication in 1895, lived as a private citizen, publishing her memoir, Hawaii's Story by Hawaii's Queen, before passing away in 1917. Now, let us turn our attention to the treasures. We commence with the extraordinary Victorian diamond necklace, reminiscent in style of the Duchess of Albany's diamond necklace, which she donned not only as a necklace, but also as a tiara in her official inaugural portrait in 1891, adorned with a diamond butterfly brooch resembling an egret. The necklace was among the jewels auctioned, and its fate remains unknown. Next in the Queen's jewellery collection was the butterfly brooch. When the then heir princess accompanied her sister-in-law, Queen Capiolani, to Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee celebration in 1887, she acquired a diamond butterfly brooch, comprising 159 diamonds with two tiny ruby eyes, set in tremble, allowing the butterfly's wings to flutter when in motion. Queen Liliuokalani wore the brooch in her hair in one of her most iconic portraits, as well as as an egret atop a diamond necklace in her official inaugural portrait. The butterfly brooch, auctioned in 1924, became the highlight among the jewels reacquired by Iolani Palace, where it remains on display. Moving on to the next piece, which in my opinion is one of the most intriguing specimens. A gift to Queen Liliuokalani from the King of Siam, the tiger claw necklace is a twisted gold chain with nine tiger claws dangling from seven gold filigree balls and an oval filigree clasp. It was sold at auction in 1924 when it was purchased by a private individual from Toledo, Ohio. In 1927, Mrs. F. Walbridge donated the necklace to the Honolulu Academy of Arts, which loaned it to Iolani Palace, where the necklace has been exhibited since 2000. The Queen of Hawaii also possessed her own tiara. Queen Liliuokalani was depicted wearing a tiara with a diamond star consisting of five diamond stars on a gold base, which she wore in several official portraits, sometimes with a smaller diamond tiara at the back, possibly previously worn by her sister-in-law, Queen Capiolani. After the Queen's death, her jewels were sold to fund the creation and maintenance of a shelter, and around 1924, the tiara was worn by a model. Its current whereabouts are unknown. Queen Liliuokalani's collection also encompassed several brooches, pendants and bracelets, most of which were auctioned off to fund the shelter in 1924. Among them were a bracelet and a small diamond brooch. Let us journey to another Pacific Island nation, Tonga, where one of its treasures is the crown of Queen Nana Sipau Tukuaho. The queen does not possess a large collection of family jewels, so I shall enlighten you about her tiara instead. Previous queens of Tonga wore a golden crown adorned with large stars, created in 1899, which was worn in succession by Queen Lavinia Veongo, Queen Anna Saini Takipo, and then Queen Salote Tupu III before passing to Queen Halae Valu Mata'aho, who wore it at her coronation in 1968 and continued to wear it even after widowhood, adorning it at the coronation of King Tupu V in 2008 and King Tupu VI in 2015. This spectacular creation of gold and silver with pearls, 
embellished with scrolls, leaves and golden heraldic lilies, as well as a central pearl surrounded by golden and silver petals and crowned with a four-leaf clover, echoing the design of the royal crown. The creator of the crown is unknown, but undoubtedly it was a contemporary creation for the coronation. It remains unclear why the Tongan royal family decided to commission a new crown. In June 2015, Queen Nanasipau Tukuaho was crowned with this golden crown during the coronation of King Tupu VI at the Free Wesleyan Church in Nukualofa. Queen Nanasipau Tukuaho continued to wear the crown throughout the remainder of the coronation festivities, including the procession through Nukualofa and official portraits. Queen Nanasipau Tukuaho does not possess a tiara, and although she attended several ceremonial events, such as the enthronement of Emperor Naruhito of Japan, she chose not to wear a diadem, although this crown is versatile enough for her to do so. If Queen Nanasipa Utuko Aho attends the next coronation, it will be intriguing to see if she wears this new crown, while the old crown is worn by the new queen or vice versa, and whether this crown is intended solely for the reigning queen consort. Now let us venture to the hot plains of Africa, where an intriguing piece awaits us, the Lesotho tiara with a diamond fringe. For the hard-working queen, who is the first commoner to marry into the royal family of the small African nation, Queen Masanat, there aren't many occasions where she wears a tiara, but today we seize the opportunity to introduce the Lesotho tiara with a diamond fringe. Adorned with a fringe of diamond, this tiara echoes the motif of tiaras found in royal collections around the world originally inspired by Kokoschniks at the Russian royal court. Examples can be found in the British, Swedish, Danish, Thai, Monaco, Liechtenstein, and Greek royal collections. Though the origin of this piece is unknown, Queen Mother Mamohato Bereng Seiso notably wore the tiara with a diamond fringe at her son King Letsi III's wedding to Queen Masanata Mohato Seiso in 2000. In 2006, Queen Masanat Mohato Seiso wore the tiara with a diamond fringe for the banquet honoring King Bumibol Adulyadej of Thailand's Diamond Jubilee at the Boromacha Satit Maholan Grand Palace Hall in Bangkok. We anticipated seeing the tiara again at the banquet for Emperor Naruhito's enthronement in 2019, but Queen Masanate did not wear the tiara. The tiara with a diamond fringe is not the only tiara in the royal family of Lesotho, Queen Masanate Mohato Seiso wore a magnificent crown as well as a smaller tiara at her wedding to King Letsi III in 2000. Princess Senate of Lesotho was photographed in a mysterious diamond tiara for a series of portraits taken on her 18th birthday. And in 2019, she wore another tiara to a school dance. Which kingdom's jewels impressed you the most? Share in the comments.